Mars on March 5th moves into Sagittarius, but here's the deal. Mars turns retrograde mid-April, on April 17th. And when it turns retrograde in Sagittarius, actually at 8 degrees of Sagittarius, it backs up all the way back into Scorpio, back to 23 degrees of Scorpio, where it was about a week and a half ago. And so Mars, even now at the later degrees of Scorpio, and then over the next few weeks, Mars moving through the first eight degrees of Sagittarius, this is all Mars moving through its shadow, meaning that this is the area of sky that Mars moves through now. When it turns direct, it's going to go back Apparently, from our point of view, it will move backward over the same area of sky, and then it turns direct late June, June 29th, and doesn't move out of Scorpio back into Sagittarius again until August. Normally, Mars spends about seven weeks, eight, seven, eight weeks, about two months in each sign, but now it seems like it's stuck in Scorpio and in Sag for an, an, an extraordinary long period of time. And anyone who has planets in their natal chart in the last degrees from 23 degrees of Scorpio all the way up through about 8 degrees of Sagittarius is going to get Mars hanging out at that spot in their chart for an incredibly long period of time, making Mars feel less Marsy and more maybe even Saturnian. And we have another issue here with Mars and Saturn although this becomes more of an issue um, later on uh, when, Mars, when Mars goes direct back through this early Sagittarius and further on into Sagittarius. And that is because Mars in Sagittarius is going to connect up with Saturn. Now with Mars coming into Sagittarius, not only are we saying, let's go on a Sagittarian adventure, but we really have to plan it. Mars is saying, but go now, go now, let's do it. Come on, we can do it. Let's go to Goa, India. See you in Goa next year. <laughs> Mars is hot. Mars is like the gas pedal. It's the accelerator. Mars says, do it. It's the Nike, just do it. That's Mars, go for it. And it's complicated by the fact that in mid-April, Mars is going to turn retrograde. And even Mars that's been saying, go, 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 do it, do it, do it. Yeah, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Let's hold back. So even Mars is going to pull back. And pull back into Scorpio. Mars pulls back into Scorpio on May 27th. And then it gets deeper again, like it's been over these last weeks. And intuitively, we know that this depth and this power and this intensity of Mars, the hot planet in passionate, emotional Scorpio, things are going to get lighter on the 5th when Mars moves into Sagittarius. Even though we're not going to fly freely as much as we want because of two things. One, Mars runs into Saturn. And two, Mars turns, direct, or turns retrograde and pulls back into Scorpio um, from the end of May all the way through um, the end of of, um, through the beginning of August. That's a, a, a taste of this Mars thing, which is a kind of a, a deeper rhythm than just a particular aspect for a day. But it's playing now, because over the next few days as Mars moves into Sagittarius, we're all going to go, wow, this is great. I feel like I can party, I can fly, the parachute's going to work, I'm going to jump. It, it's like things, things begin to open up. But it's a little bit of a cosmic teaser. We have to be careful because there's a process here of opening up and then pulling back and then pulling way back and then pushing forward again and then still having to meet up with Saturn by the end of the summer before we're free.